We're counting down Pro Football Weekly's top 32 prospects. We're down to our final three. We'll give you one every day leading up until the draft. Morris Claiborne is third on our list. He actually came to LSU as a wide receiver in fall camp before then switching to cornerback for his freshman season. I got a pretty good look at Arizona Cardinals' first round pick from last year, Patrick Peterson. Claiborne backed him up for a season, then played on the opposite side of the field of Peterson, and then eventually replaced him as the Tigers' right cornerback. So looking at his abilities, Claiborne's on the field, what really stands out for you? He has excellent length. He had the longest arms at the combine at 33 and a half inches. Uh, really is out of position, uh, great transitional skills. Uh, really uh, shows up as a locked down cornerback in the SEC. I mean, just in terms of locking the guy down, man-to-man -man skills, is he as good as you've seen in a while? Uh, since the Darrell Rewis was coming out, uh, I'd say he's in that category. Uh, He's, he's going to be a fine pro. It took him uh, a year to get acclimated to the position. He only started two years in college, so I think it could take him a little longer to uh, adjust to the NFL game. But I think he's going to be a very good player. What are some of the negatives that you see in his game? You wish he were a little bit more physical. He doesn't always come up and run support and, and hit like a, a physical corner. He doesn't always play to his size. Uh, you know, there, there is a learning disability there that could uh, concern some teams. And you wish he tested a little bit better. His vertical jump was uh, relatively average for an elite corner. And uh, he didn't run the greatest at the combine either. But when you put on the tape, uh, you definitely see a good football player. We saw his former teammate Patrick Peterson come in, play well on punt returns, but struggled a little at corner, especially the first half of the year. Do you expect Claiborne to be able to come in and, and have success right away? Uh, he showed big play return ability this season, and I think he's going to be able to contribute in that area. Uh, he may not be able to make the impact that Peterson did. Uh, you're talking about a player with 4-3-2 speed, so I think there's a little bit uh, of a different gear with Peterson. I don't know that it'll be quite as... But at corner, do you think that Claiborne will have more success than Peterson did his rookie year? He will be uh, very good. I think uh, Peterson did struggle, so I, I think he could come out of the gate and be uh, a better player. Where do you think Claiborne goes in the draft? I think Minnesota's going to be looking at him at three, and I don't see him getting past uh, Tampa Bay at five. So I think that three to five range is right where he's going to come out. Just keep churning him out at LSU. First round picks coming out of that secondary. You can check out our full list of 32 draft prospects by subscribing to our YouTube page at youtube.com slash profootballweekly.